Welcome in our house. Kuha niya kiliti ko, girls. Ay, girls. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> so, this is the master's bedroom. I'm ready to sleep. Hi, it's Mary George. So I'm here at the display house. So we're just checking on house displays because we're thinking of building another house. So join me and see what Australian houses look like. Look at the turkey. The turkey. So it seems like a Hamptons house because if the door is blue. Nice. I'm using my GoPro 9, so let's see if it's working well. So this is the stairs going to the second floor. Nice chandelier, but look at that first. This is their the laundry area. This is, look at that door. Or sliding door, I think. So this is the mini entertainment area, like a living room. And this is the powder room downstairs. So nice. Look at the tiles. Look at that. This is the basin with the mirror. Of course, we love mirrors. This is the main living room area. Well, I love this separation that when you go inside, you don't see straight away what's happening inside the house. I like this one. And then this is the dining area. And I like this soft curtain. Makes feels homey. <laughs> this is the kitchen area with your fridge. I like that this is the pantry or where you kept all your cooking stuff. This is the second dirty kitchen. I think I like this. And this is your kitchen, main kitchen area. Really looks like a Hampton doors. Or what do you call that? Cabinet doors. Yeah, you can hide all your stuff. And, uh, and I like this see-through from the outside. Maybe you can put some more herb gardens there or plants. And then this is the washing area. This is the island bench. And this high chair, I like the Hamptons chair. This trademark. This one's the Hamptons. I love that it feels like uh, you're in a holiday. Okay, now we're going outside the veranda area, the outdoor area. So here you can have you can have your barbecues because you know Australia loves barbecues. And you can put your drinks here, your beers, your wine, and oh, there's a what do you call this? You have a bonfire there. This is your outdoor area. This is outdoor furniture. And when you go inside. It's just a continuity of the house, so it really looks big. You like it? Yes, I like it. You like it? <laughs> I like it. Let's buy it. <laughs> well, I like this that it has a different color. It's faucet, but I'll have a different color. Something in mine already. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> show you there's a hidden storage here, which is good. You can put all your polistambo or no or vacuum or anything. It's under the stairs. It's really good like that it's hidden there good now let's check the second floor which 
the main bedrooms are look so nice okay this is the second or third living room area or play area for your kids but this can be converted into a room this is your study area or my work from home area in the future if ever we choose this design so this is a common bathroom in the second hello everyone with the bathtub and what else is here okay this is the toilet area for the second floor and this is the linen covered where you can put all your blankets, your towels, your pillows and how many rooms they have so this is the first one so I guess this can be a kids room or your guest room and then this is the second room this can be another kids room I love this like a baby girl's room why not in the future or a ladies room I love this I really love this is one of my requirement in the room to have a full-size mirror behind it is a cabinet or for your dresser because it's dual purpose isn't it guys you have your full length mirror you have your closet and then yeah you can stuff I really like this design and yeah so that when you're changing or trying on new clothes it's easy to see let's move on to the next room this is the way going to the master's bedroom look at that lights from chandelier it really match from the kitchen show you okay this is what third room Wow, so again, full length mirror, and behind it is the closet. You can have a bedroom there. Okay, now, fourth room. Okay, this is the master's room area. First, we go to the walk in closet room. So, you go inside. So, this is the master closet room, right? Mm, so this is the guy stuff. This is for the wife stuff. In yeah, and cupboard. You can put your bags here. Display of your bags and maybe your accessories, hats, and your accessories here. Or jewelry or makeup, your clothes. I love having a separate walk-in closet. But I think I need a bigger space than this <laughs> to fit all my stuff. So now, welcome to the master's room. So this is the master's bedroom. I'm ready to sleep. <laughs> so nice. Notice that this house is what I like accents of blue. So we have lots of blues in this house. So kuanya kiliti ko girls, I girls, guys. Diba? That's what I like the Hampton style of house, like with accents of blue. So medyo kuanya kiliti ko. So this is what I like, and I like kind of like now this soft curtains feels more homey than having blinds look at the neighbors in the morning you can make cheeses from the neighbors like hello neighbors i think you can still put something here maybe my vanity closet here my makeup room area nice nice everything but my only question is let me know is it nice to have a room facing the neighbors <laughs> or facing the road for me personally i don't like it because it will be noisy in the morning. I'm still in the master's bedroom. So let me know guys, what do you think? Is it nice to have the master's bedroom in front of the house, like facing the road? 
or your neighbors or is it better at the back for me personally I like it at the back our other house the first house is the main bedroom is at the back which is I like because it's not noisy in the morning and I can sleep in during weekends but this one because it's in the front see that I can hear the cars so this is the only design in this house that I don't like but it's a maybe they can swap it you know put other rooms here the guest room maybe here but yeah seems pretty good to me Philippines and proud Capis made in the Philippines whoa I have a feeling the interior designer of this house is a Filipino so this is the master's bathroom look at that Of course, one of my requirements as well is lots of cabinets so that we can all hide all our junk. Oh, the bathtub! I like this because I like it separated, independent like that, rather than like I don't like this one. I like, I prefer something like this. The shower, this is where you can put the shampoo or your bath shower gel that is a good idea guys and this one is your towel yes please have a his and her towel rack and the toilet is somewhere here yeah it's really nice are you liking the house as much as i do <laughs> Tara, let's buy it <laughs> let's buy it now <laughs> here at the second home display in Australia that we're looking at so if you're trying to build a house in Australia keep on watching so this is the McCartney display homes let's see This is the study room or work from home. And this is the pool. I like this one because it has an indoor pool. Nice, I kind of like this one. Wow, this is a bit fancy powder room downstairs. And okay, the dream of wine lovers. Inside. Look at that. How many wines do you need in the house? <laughs> Look at this. Nice, I like it. Wow. This is like second level of the Hamptons style that I like. This is the kitchen area. Almost the same, the first house that we saw with this cabinet, but this one was window and the bench top, lots of drawers. You really need that. And I like is the second dirty kitchen, this house and pantry where you can put all your cookware, and this is the laundry area. This is a fridge. See, I didn't realize it's a fridge. It's good. This is the dining area. The same little curtain not too thick curtain it's really good it looks breezy and this is living room area TV couch wow lots of cabinets storage now I really like lots of cabinet because really help to hide all your junk 
going to the alfresco side, the outdoor area. This is your barbecue area, as I've said. Australians love their barbecues. And then that is the pool area. I like this design because the pool is inside. You can see it through while walking there along the corridor and it's a pool. I like that. Now let's look at the second floor. My god guys, see Amalfi. Still same made in the Philippines, same as the other house. They have this. I'll have to look where they bought this. I'll buy it. Nice, really nice. Okay, let's see how many rooms they have. Okay, room number one. Wow! Look at the wall paper. Or actually, it's not a wallpaper. It's actually imprinted. And the cabinets. And but. Guys, for me, I still like the mirror cabinet and the bathroom. Okay, shared bathroom is connected to the second room. This is good for kids. Let's go to the other room. Nice, really spacious room. That is the closet and it has its own bathroom oh i love that marble effect tiles and marble all the way from top to bottom i'm kind of digging this house this is wow what is this it's a massive bathroom this must be the master's bathroom because it's big as i've said i also want a separate bathtub like that and a separate toilet area Look at that, the his and her, and it's nice. Oh, okay, I didn't realize. Okay, let's go back. This is actually the master's bedroom. Look how big it is. Look, this is the bathroom area. This is like a small living area. Oh no, this is the bedroom of the master's. Look at that, nice. And bedroom. Mm, let's go to sleep. Nice. A massive mirror. So from that, from the bedroom, you have your own couch. And this is the closet. Walk-in closet. And that is we want to look at the view outside. What's going on outside from the neighbors? And then this is the walk-in closet. This area is big, massive. So they have one, two, three, and four rooms here. And that's it for the second room. So what do you think, guys? Do you like this second display house? Comment below if which one do you prefer for us to build our second house. <laughs> the display one or the display two? Okay. Now, let's see the third display house that we checked today. So this is the entrance for the third display home. Let's have a look. This is the living room area, which is just beside the kitchen. And living room, and your dining. In Australia, they, they like it like an open plan house now, the modern houses. So it's basically the same as our first house. It's also open space. Like you can see through the moment you enter the house. Gives the impression that it's a massive space. So now let's look at the alfresco. So you go outside. Again, have you noticed the same theme at Australian houses? They love their barbecues. So this is another barbecue. See, grill. And this is the garden area. So this is the outdoor area if you're looking from this side. So what do you think? Do you like 
this third house or third display homes? Comment down below. Now let's look at the second floor. Where are the bedrooms? Okay, I see the Amalfi again. Okay. Now we go to the second level. Again, there's a study area or your work from home area and the living room area, second floor. And your room number one. Cutie. And this is it's probably the linen cabinets, yes. Where you can put all your towels and your pillows. Second room. So you can also see your neighbor from this window. see the walk-in closet and this is an, a no-no display homes because a walk-in closet is my number one prerequisite <laughs> I think this is the main bathroom on the second level what do you think guys do you like this third display homes let me know comment down below <laughs> oh no I made a mistake this is the Master's bedroom. Yes! This is the walk in closet. See? Don't judge the book by its cover. This is the master's bedroom. Now we know, guys, we learned something here that having this sheer curtain really makes it feel like social, no? like classy, or it's also breezy or homey. There's a master's bed, and as always, they have the his and her, um, and a separate toilet. I think I prefer that that is separated. It's good, um, so that you know, when people walk in, your kids or your husband, they don't see you in the flesh, right? Maybe my only add-ons to this one is the door for the bathroom or a sliding door. It's free to dream guys, so let's just dream that we'll have a nice house. You'll never know, dreams do come true. So let me know guys, which of the three houses that you prefer. If you prefer display one, display two, or display three. So I hope you gain an insight of Australian homes. So you have an idea of what homes are like in Australia. And also if you're building a house, at least it gives you an idea. So thank you for watching and see you next time in my next vlog. Bye!